This is the 2019 Ford Echo Sport. Yes, Echo Sport, not to be confused with the EcoBoost engine. Before we get any further, let me tell you why it's called the Echo Sport. Well, this particular mini crossover was first produced in Brazil by Ford Brazil in 2003. And in Portuguese, the word spelled ECO is pronounced ECO. We say ECO, but its true heritage is Echo Sport and we still call it the Echo Sport in North America, just like they do in Brazil. It also became one of Brazil's best-selling cars to this day. In 2012, the Echo Sport moved production across the sea to India, Thailand, and even Russia, and became more of a world car, all part of Ford's global product process, where they're trying to take the same car and deliver it across the world. 2018, Ford brought the Echo Sport to North America and added a few other North American flavors to it. One thing about being a global car is that you're going to get features that are popular in one country and move them into another country and vice versa. So you can get kind of an eclectic car and we're going to show you some of those eclectic Brazilian features that you might find a little odd on the North American 2019 Echo Sport. Let's take a look. Okay, so let's talk about the elephant in the room, the tailgate that opens sideways. So why is this? You would think that North American cars should all open upwards. Well, here's the thing. We talked about this being a Brazilian car. In Brazil, the Ford Echo Sport comes with a spare tire. Why does it come with a spare tire? Well, let's face it, the roads in Brazil are not quite as good as they are here, so often spare tires are needed. So because of that feature, the car still opens sideways. And we also talked about how this is a global car, so Ford, using the global platform here, decided not to change the tailgate just for North America, so it opens sideways, and that's why. So now you have a story to tell your friends. You can say, because it's Brazilian, it opens that way. So here's the thing about the Echo Sport. It's really good at a lot of things, which makes it great. It's not the flashiest looking mini subcompact SUV out there. It's not the fastest. It's not the most comfortable. It doesn't even have the most tech, but it's just nice. Simple layout, beautiful infotainment system, including Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Just, you know, nice seats. Lots of room in the back for extra passengers, more cargo space than most mini compacts in its class, and all around just a nice place to be. Not flashy, not outstanding, just a really good car for the city. First impressions of this vehicle are very pleasantly surprising. From the exterior, it's a mini compact SUV, so you wonder what kind of space you're gonna have once you get inside. But behind the wheel, I gotta tell you, I'm pleasantly surprised. Uh, very comfortable seating. I have lots of headroom. I have lots of legroom. Looking at the interior, very impressed with the navigation, the infotainment center. It's actually quite elegant, and it's very easy to use. It's very intuitive. 
The temperature controls are all easily accessible, easy to control your climate and your environment. First impressions of the drive are the vehicle actually feels quite stable. It's very comfortable. The ride itself is firm. The handling feels very comfortable. And because it's an economical vehicle, once you put your foot into it, you're wondering if you're going to have any power. But I tell you, you got more than enough power to get yourself around town. I think this is a great family vehicle, a great commuter vehicle, perfect for running around town, grocery shopping, uh, taking your kids to sporting events, more than capable for anything you're going to want to do in the city. And even for young families, there's lots of room in the hatch area for sporting gear, for your pets, for groceries, whatever you need. So if you're in the market for a vehicle that's going to be easy to drive around town, easy to park, perfect for the commuter runs, the grocery runs, take your kids to and from sporting events, and be good on gas, I think the Ford EcoSport is something that should be on your shopping list. So if you're looking for a fun, capable, functional, practical mini SUV for the city, then you should consider the Ford EcoSport. And I also forgot to mention, it's the only mini compact SUV that is available in all-wheel drive at all trim levels. So come check one out at West Coast Ford. Brazil. So I'm Nick Davis with West Coast Ford Lincoln. We are clearing out our last 12 Echo Sports. Right now you can save $6,000 or at least one for $184 bi-weekly. I'm Nick Davis at West Coast Ford Lincoln. I'll see you in the showroom.